Alright, so now in this video, I'm going to charge up this bank of super capacitors. It's uh, six of them in series. They're rated for 2.7 volts. So we can charge this up to uh, about 16.2 volts. I got the bench power supply set to 16 volts. And I got a stopwatch ready. So as soon as I make this connection... I'm uh, starting the stopwatch. So you'll see that the uh, bench power supply started at about uh, 1.5 volts and now it's going up. And according to my calculations, it should take about 7 minutes to get up to 16 volts. Right now we got 3 amps of current going into it and uh, we're closing in at about 30 seconds so obviously the voltage is going up quicker than we would like no it's probably about right so 4 volts we went up 3 volts in 47 seconds now we just hit 2 minutes we're at uh, almost 8 volts 10 volts took almost 3 minutes or I should say 9 volts because we started a little bit above uh, 1 volt. Now we hit 4 minutes and we're almost at 13 volts so it took that long to get uh, a little less than 12 volts. Alright so we're almost 16 volts it's been about five and a half minutes and uh, earlier I calculated that it would take about uh, seven minutes in that range. There we go. We just uh, hit that point there. So we're gonna turn that off and then plug the clips. And now we'll use the multimeter to get a more accurate voltage reading. And you can see it's about 15.2, but it's dropping a little bit. So these are. 500 farad supercapacitors that's their rating and so in series they're about uh, 83 and a third farad capacitors and it took us I think it was about uh, five and a half minutes or so to go up about uh, 15 volts so now I'm going to do one more test quickly some time has gone by so we'll get the voltage reading we got uh, leakage coming out of the super capacitors hopefully that'll improve with time but uh, one thing we want to do is make sure that the super capacitor is charged fairly evenly so we got about 2.4 or about 2.5 volts on that one in that range and then this one about 2.2 And again, 2.4 um, towards uh, 2.5. And again, between 2.4 and 2.5. And again, and finally, and that one's close too. So now that went over, uh, ideally, since I haven't charged these before, I probably should have charged them about halfway and then measured them, make sure everything was going smoothly. But uh, I wanted to kind of speed things up for this video. And so far it looks good. Looks like they all charged about evenly. And uh, I'm not going to test the board right now to make sure it won't overcharge. But uh, that wouldn't be a bad idea either. Try to overcharge it just a little bit and uh, see what the voltage is across all of them.